What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our ACC football channel. The Mike Norvell era begins in 2020 for the Florida State Seminoles. We're going to look at their schedule. You go back to the 2019 schedule and it was actually a pretty tough schedule for an ACC team. Uh, they had to play Florida in the non-conference, which of course they play every year. Also had to play Boise State. And then in, in their cross-division matchup, they had to play on the road at Virginia. So those were, you know, you add that together, plus the games that, that you know you're going to get every year in the ACC, the division games and all that, uh, in the game against Miami. It was a pretty challenging schedule for Florida State. They at least made it to a bowl game last year. If you thought last year's schedule was tough, though, this year's might be even tougher. Let's get right into this 2020 schedule. And you see they open up the year. Open up the season on September 5th against West Virginia in Atlanta. So I don't know if they're what the, if they're calling this the Chick Fil A kickoff because you got, you got Auburn and North Carolina the second week. Uh, there are two games in Atlanta this year apparently, but this is a big game for both of these teams. Both programs trying to get back on track. Uh, I think it's more of a must win for Florida State though. They had the better year last year. They have enough coming back this year to where. I think they expect to win this game, but it's not going to be an easy game. It's probably a 50-50 type game. Um, big one to open up the season. And then they play Samford, not Stanford, but Samford on September the 12th. And then it's Boise State. They play them again, this time on September 19th, this time on the road. So how about that? West Virginia and Boise State in the non-conference, plus their game against Florida, who they play every year. That is a very respectable non-conference schedule. My hat's off to Florida State for putting this kind of schedule together in the non-conference. Uh, very, very impressed with their non-conference schedule. They play NC State on October the 3rd on the road. NC State was down last year. We'll see what happens with them this year. And on the 10th, they play Clemson. Florida State, do they have any shot in this game? They're playing them at home. Maybe Mike Norvell can get some magic out of this Florida State roster and they can start to play the way that, that they're capable of because they've got you know some talent on this team. It's not like they're a Duke talent wise I mean they've got some good players and if they can put it together maybe just maybe they could shock the world and pull off an upset there I don't know gonna be tough they'll play Wake Forest on October the 17th and then it's Louisville on the road on October 24th Pittsburgh on October 31st at home on Halloween uh, so that's a pretty good little stretch there Clemson Wake Forest Louisville Pittsburgh some good teams and then after that it's Miami on November the 7th that game will be on the road uh, Miami's a team that might be pretty good this year. You go, you got De'Aaron King. Uh, what's he going to look like? How good is he going to be? And we missed the bye week. Their bye week is actually between Boise State and NC State, so it's very early in the season. Uh, but, yeah, that Miami game is going to be huge. Um, Florida State and Miami, two programs that have just been struggling. Are they going to get it together this year? I think there's potential for both of them to do that. Um Maybe one does, maybe one doesn't, and that game could really determine a lot about their seasons. But Boston College is after that on November 14th. That's a home game for Florida State. And then they'll have a quick turnaround. On a Thursday night, they go on the road to play Syracuse. So a quick turnaround after Boston College, road game against Syracuse. Uh, will they be improved this year? Probably at least some. And then Florida to close it out. Of course, the rivalry game. They will be at home this time. Maybe they can be a little bit more competitive in this matchup but again i really respect this schedule in the non-conference west virginia boise state florida if if all the acc and sec teams scheduled like that i don't think you'd see a bunch of complaints from other conferences because these teams only play eight conference games if you play eight conference games and then you play three power five opponents in the non-conference i know boise state's not a power five but how about two power fives and a top tier group of five teams, something like that? I don't think you'd see a lot of complaints. And I think a big reason why the SEC and ACC only schedule eight conference games is because Florida already plays Florida State every year. Clemson plays South Carolina. So I really, really credit Florida State for scheduling those games. If you look at their conference schedule, they avoid Virginia Tech. They avoid North Carolina, two of the top teams, I think, this year out of the Coastal. We'll play Miami, who might be right there at the top we'll have to wait and see but they play them every year and then they'll play pittsburgh who is in my opinion kind of a middle tier team out of that coastal division so their conference schedule uh, is not too bad i think there are a lot of winnable games I, I don't honestly outside of clemson i don't think there's a conference game that i would say florida state has no chance in 
Um, and they're going to be favored, actually, in a lot of these games. You know, Louisville's going to be tough on the road. They'll be an underdog. But they can win pretty much all of these games if they play up to their potential. Uh, and we'll see if Mark, Mike Norbell is able to get that potential out of them. But all in all, conference schedule, not too bad. A very respectable non-conference schedule for Florida State in 2020.